Hey, what is up? How we doing? Today we're going to rock out with the old Carbino. Uh, we're going to talk about the defensive carbine. First couple skills that we need to possess with the defensive carbine. Stuff that we need to really get rocking and rolling on. And then if we get really good at these first couple skills, the rest of it is simple. The rest of it is just fine tuning and refining each little skill to, to a higher and higher level. Same way with the pistol. Obviously pistols are, are the hardest thing to shoot, hardest thing to get good at. That's a little bit more of a nuanced thing. To get really good at a pistol, you gotta kinda dive into a lot more areas. With the rifle, okay, it's pretty damn simple. So, let's talk about the first three skills that we need. Number one is gun handling skills. So, for the most part, knowing how to get the gun up and running, keep the gun up and running, and feed the gun, pretty much all we need to know at first, right? Second thing, actually shooting the gun up drills, simply getting this gun up on target, getting our eyes connected to that sight and connected to the target rapidly, and then being able to drive the gun. Third thing is getting our eyeballs and the safety connected, okay? Our eyes and that safety have to be absolutely connected 100%. We run the safety all the time all the time all the time there is no reason to not go all the time no reason to we get so good at it and so ingrained to where our eyes are literally connected to that safety eye thumb eye thumb eye thumb as soon as my eyes are looking at what i want to look at think that safety's off as soon as my eyes come off of what i'm trying to look at safety comes off right simple stuff so up drills we're going to do up drills and then a little bit of transition work, okay? Up drills are extremely simple. All we need to do is get that gun from a low ready position, pointed 45 degrees or at the target, or you can go from here. I like to do that a lot. Um, and we come, we get on the target and get a shot off on the target as quick as possible. So let's do this. Okay, that's a 46. Under a second is what we want to aim for. Under three quarters of a second, I think, is pretty easily done. But in these up drills, the little bit of nuance to it is we're at short distance. Height over bore is going to become an issue. Okay? Our round is coming out down here, and our sight is all the way up here. So, what I like to do is get a uh, little circle, a one inch circle, or like a three inch circle, something like that. So, when I'm, I'm practicing up drills, I'm, I'm drilling into my head that if I'm at close distance, I'm aiming three inches above whatever I'm shooting at, okay? That's, that's huge. We're working that safety. We're manipulating, getting the gun up on target as quick as we possibly can, shouldered, set up. So one shot up drills is going to be one thing. Then we start to get into the recoil control of the rifle and drive in twos and threes, all right? So let's drive two into the target. Okay, that's a 70 for two shots. We want to get really, really stable. And it is so easy to drive this gun. They, they are so good. Okay, this thing's not set up like a three-gun rifle. It's set up like a, like a good shooting home defense rifle or a good shooting defensive carbine. That's all. It's got a really good trigger in it. That helps. But, all right, so let's run three. I just want you to watch the gun. Watch how little it moves. And I'm shooting a group that's this big, as fast as I can pull the trigger at 10 yards. Height over bore, that was 70 for three shots. Super easy. Now that trigger helps being so good, I'm getting 14 splits and shit, so. Don't worry about being that fast, just worry about simply going. At first. Running the gun. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Getting the gun up on target, rocking and rolling. So now, the second thing we'll do is an up drill with a little transition action. Okay, so I'm going to back up a little bit. I'm going to run these two A zone targets. <clears throat> okay, that's a 
159. Simple, simple stuff. You see the gun moving? Shouldn't be moving much at all. Trying to swing the gun as fast as I can. All right, still all A's. 102. Still all A's, one second flat. We'll go really quick this time, see what we can do. We got to miss once. All right, that was an 83 and I overswung and I got a about a two inch Charlie, okay? So overswung a little bit, that was my last rounds anyway. This is the beginning. Up drills, transitions, height over bore work, and getting that thumb connected to those eyes. Just a little bit of dry fire type stuff we can work on. Uh, remember, dry fire is free. So just like the, uh, the pistol work, we want to be dry firing at the house, playing around, so that we're not wasting 30 cents. You know, one, two, three, dollar. 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 <laughs> okay? So let's not waste a bunch of money trying to get good with this thing at the, at the range. Range day is test day. Dry fire is just studying. Okay? Studying up. We're getting all of our stuff together. We're getting our manipulations right. Then when we do go to the range day and we do shoot that three or 400 rounds, we're getting somewhere. We're doing some work. We're actually improving every time. We're going to the range with a, with a goal, okay? What we'll talk about real quick is just simply how I, how I grip the rifle, how I teach rifle recoil management. I hate the way a lot of people teach it. We have four points of contact on the rifle. A lot of people only teach two. Okay, they teach you that all your recoil control and all your work with that rifle, all your control over that rifle comes from your left hand pulling back and your shoulder going in. That's bullshit. You know what that leads to? That leads to this. People, if you've ever seen them shoot a rifle and the rifle goes bang, 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 and twists. That's because someone told them not to use their right hand and especially what I think a lot of people get neglected on is not to use their cheek, okay? Yeah, they're laying their cheek, they got a, a cheek weld on the, on the gun. I like to say it like this. It's called cheek weld because I want you to weld your freaking cheek to it, okay? I want you to shove your cheek into that damn stock. It doesn't have to hurt or be crazy or anything, but just think of it like that. I want you to weld your freaking cheek to the stock, all right? Yes, your left hand needs to be pulling back. Yes, your shoulder needs to be driving forward into the gun. Great, okay? The right hand. What I do with my right hand is a little bit different. So you could do that if you'd like or try that if you'd like, but uh, otherwise, what I do with my right hand is get a little crazy and I go real high up on the rifle and I put my middle finger under the trigger guard and put my ring finger up underneath where a normal grip on the rifle would be like this. I actually do this, okay? I don't know why I just started doing it. Next thing you know, it was, that's how I do it. But it does lend itself to a couple other things, okay? It gives me a little bit more control for this kind of shit out here, manipulations, administrative work, and it gets me really high up on the gun, right? So you could try that if you want, you don't have to. But for the most part, we do need to get our right hand involved. We need to clamp down on that on that gun just like you would your pistol and dominate over the gun. Four points of contact, use all four of them. Uh, stance with the rifle, not really gonna matter that much, but no matter what, get your ass uh, behind you and not under you, okay? Pretty simple stuff. And then also in dry fire, when you're practicing up drills and transition drills and stuff like that, in dry fire, go ahead and lock the bolt to the rear because when we lock the bolt to the rear we can use our safety and we have somewhat of a trigger okay so I always just do that then I can use my safety simple stuff right then we'll just work work in some reload stuff really easy
right? So we'll do individual drill videos, individual technique videos, I should say, about each and individual thing. Recoil control, we'll get into the weeds on that. Malfunction clearances, we'll definitely get into the weeds on that. And uh, more gun handling skills, positional shooting, all kinds of stuff. We'll get into all that. Okay, shooting around stuff, round cover, things like that. Little tips and stuff that I've uh, picked up. By no means am I... Uh, a tactics instructor but you know, most of this shit is just common sense and apply that with good shooting so performance shooting applied to common sense in real life you know so 